what is up my fellow mobile gamers in today's video we are going over the other world horn special summoning event before dragon air is a global launch i'm going to show you how to get the best heroes the best start all that good stuff what to look out for like and subscribe for more amazing mobile game content this event is going on right now right before global launch this is the second summoning mechanic in this game the first summoning mechanic has to do with Dungeons and Dragons dice. This is the second method, which is inside of your camp. Once you do go ahead and unlock your camp, it's gonna give you a bunch of different options to choose from. And then it has a chance to kind of depict one of the heroes to be that. Now in the game, it's very different from this event. And what I mean by that is this event is tailored to always give you a rare hero, an epic hero and then if you get super lucky you'll get a legendary now the summoning mechanic works in the actual game is typically you don't even get heroes a lot of the times you'll just get resources but this specifically for this event you're always going to get a hero you're never going to get anything else and you're never going to get a common hero either two different ways to access this event before global launch goes ahead and happens the first one is you can just go to the website the dragonair.com website and access it through that which is right here and then this is the dragonair website and you're going to click on the top right corner where it says free gift this will go ahead and open up that second window you're going to log in with your account and then you'll have access to this the second way is you can download the official app so this does have a dedicated app in the app store try and link the google play version of it down below in the description box that way you can go ahead and download the app either way it really doesn't matter so you're going to get some of this energy that's going to restore over time and then we can blow the horn and do a summon we also have additional ways that we can obtain stuff we can share the event once per day. We can also invite friends to a maximum of 35 extra potions. Also, if we summon a rare hero, we get one. An epic hero, we get one. We complete registration. We get some more, Ba 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 ba. So I got one right now, and we also have our summoned heroes as well. If we click on the summoned heroes, I did a whole bunch already. Why is it not working? I'm clicking and it's just not opening up. All right, there we go. All right, so here's a whole list of the heroes that I've already summoned. You'll see I've got rares, I've got epics. I still have not pulled out my legendary yet. Here's the three different labels we can choose from. Now it's gonna change every time. You're not always gonna see the same. Now you can choose up to three, but you can also choose up to one. So minimum is one, maximum is three. Now I think a lot of people come in here and they just choose three automatically because they think, you know, hey, I can pick three, let me pick three. But really, from my testing and what I've learned, it's actually better to choose one or the maximum two. Choosing three makes the RNG harder for you to get the specific heroes that you wanna get. And the specific heroes you really wanna look out for are heroes from the Necro faction. And that is because most of those heroes are summoners. The summoning mechanic in this game is super broken. I played the beta, I played the hell out of the beta. I had maxed out accounts, I had special juiced up accounts where they gave me everything unlocked. I did all different types of heroes I tried out. The Necros were by far always the strongest because the summoning mechanic is so ridiculously strong. They just keep summoning skeletons and stuff like that. And it's just like an endless wave of monsters. Show you the uh, Necro hero that I'm actually gonna choose for my special gift that I got, and it is a summoner as well. But for this, what I do is I come in here and the first thing I look out for, the Necro. So you're gonna see one that says Necrosis, I think is what it says. If you ever see that, always choose that one. The other one that I always choose is Damage, Healer, or Support. Because those ones are also very sought after and very important. And if you do happen to pull a Legendary, you want a Legendary to be a Damage Dealer or a Support, because those are like the two biggest ones. So for this instance, we have the Unstill, Fire, Melee, Dragon, Wicked, and Support. The other two that can be kind of rare that are also really strong is Dragon and the Unstill. These are two that I also suggest you choose whenever you see them. Fire is very generic, Melee is generic, Wicked is generic. Uh, support is another good one that we could choose, but for this instance, I want to really minimize it. The more you choose, 
the harder it's gonna be to get the specific one you want. If you see one that's just damaged, just choose the damaged one, and then you have a better chance to get an actual damage dealer. Now, it's not 100% proof because there are some times where you'll choose one or you'll even choose three and you might summon a hero. The hero has none of these in its affinity, its faction, whatever it may be. Like the hero has nothing to do with the three labels that you chose. So it's not 100% proof, but choosing these labels gives you a better odd to get a specific hero that has to do with that. So we're gonna choose dragon and I'm gonna also choose the unstill or we could even just go for dragon as well. We'll just do dragon for this uh, demonstration purpose, see what we can get. Now on this dice roll, that one right there is always a rare so you see how there was one two three four between the one and the five is going to give you common rewards which would be like a common hero or common resources that never shows up for this event it will show up though once you do get into the game you'll see a lot happen quite often if you get the second roll which was the five between the five and whatever that other number was that's going to give you the rare hero the second highest number that you see in that bottom right corner, that gives you an epic if you ever hit that number or higher. And then if you get the almighty D20, then that goes ahead and will get you the legendary. As you'll see, we got a rare hero. We selected dragon. Hero we summoned had nothing to do with dragon. He's actually support human, chaotic, and good. So it's not 100% proof, but it's just a better chance to specifically pull. Right now I have this supporter, he's an ice. And then here's my two Necros. Now these are both really strong summoners. Both of them are summoners. You'll see that this is the one that I'm going to choose though. The only downside is he is not a captain. That's gonna be my second thing is, if you have a summoner, I would choose a summoner first. Aside from that, choose a hero that is a captain. Now you see the little captain icon? Captains are really strong because they give all of your heroes some kind of buffs. For this instance, this captain, all allies attack by 24% in all battles. So it doesn't matter what the battle is, if you're in a dungeon, if you're doing story missions, whatever it is, you're just getting that free 24 extra attack, which is really strong. Uh, if we take a look, there are some others. Here's another captain that we have. This one increases all allies defense by 18% in all battles. Uh, we have another captain. You get this hero for free though in the story, so I wouldn't even bother with that. We have another one increases all allies HP by 24% in dungeon battles. So this is another instance that's important. Dungeon battles are different from all battles. All battles ideally is the kind of captain you want because it's gonna be for everything. This guy, uh, first ability right here, passive skill. As the battle starts, summons a dragon remnant to assist in the battle. So right off the bat, we're getting a dragon. His basic attack deals AOE damage, necrotic. Absolutely an insane hero right here. Other ability we got is the basic skill. Initial recharge time, seven seconds. Grants 15% attack up to an ally for five seconds, prioritizes the dragon as the target. So our dragon that we summon is now going to get 15% extra attack and is doing AOE damage. So we're getting even more. So we're just buffing this summoned dragon that we have. And then for our ultimate, we have unleashes a fireball in an enemy dealing necrotic damage to enemies within range. So we're getting AOE damage. You can see all of that splash damage right there. Then the dragon remnant fires another fireball at the enemy dealing necro damage to enemies within range after the dragon will prioritize attacks on that enemy. So it's just an absolutely super broken hero. Uh, if you've ever played the beta, you'll know how strong summoners are in this game. If you can get a summoner right off the bat, it will definitely help. That is it. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. Make sure you get your summons in, pick the best heroes so you can get the best start in Dragonair Silent Gods. Stay happy, stay safe. I'll see y'all later. Peace. Uh